Hey folks, so uh, this is a little tour of our truck. We've been asked a lot of questions, so we figured we'd make this video. Uh, so I want to introduce you to Viferu. Uh, Viferu is our 2006 Land Rover Defender 130 dual cab TD5. Um, and I'm going to do a walk around and tell you more about the truck. Um, but we purchased it in South Africa, originally with the steering wheel on this side, um, in 2015. And it had uh, 140,000 kilometers on it. It now has 232, so in 8,000 kilometers we will um, reach 100,000 that we've put on the clock. So, uh, some of the things are still from when we had the original pickup truck. Um, and, and then we've made some changes. Originally it was a pickup truck. And then we had a uh, cap put on the back and a rooftop tent. Um, you'll see the rhinos all around the truck. Uh, the truck's name is Viferu, which is Swahili for white rhino. And um, yeah, I just want to tell you a little bit about what do we got. So uh, the bull bar and the rock sliders that are below the door are, were on the truck when we got it and uh, including the winch and then we added the custom uh, bash plate underneath i added wheel spacers uh, which move out the wheels to the side gives me better turning radius as well as uh, a little more stability i think um, added led uh, headlights turn signals and then an led bar uh, which when we're off-road and then at night it works really well. Uh, the box on top is just a um, storage compartment and so we keep things for leveling the truck, grill stuff, uh, miscellaneous things that we need uh, that we don't want to keep in any other part of the truck. Up top we have additional storage uh, there. That was built by Globe Camper who did the cabin on the back. Um, there are two solar panels. The one on the left is from South Africa and doesn't really work m well, much well anymore um, just because it's been through a lot. The one on the right uh, is there. It's 100 watts and um, the charging system that we have is we have two, we have the main driving battery and then two what we call luxury batteries. Um, and if we're sitting still in the shade so that we're not getting much solar, we can go for about five days without moving uh, the truck. And we have a couple of refrigerators in here. We have one refrigerator that is here in the uh, center between Aaron and I, and then a 72 liter uh, tank that's in the back. Uh, getting back to the electrical. So this is for our shore power. So this can just be uh, plugged in when we're near an outlet. And um, otherwise, this is where the two batteries are uh, back behind here. And then our charger, uh, which is here. And again, this is the shore power plug that goes into one side. And then the other side is just a standard European plug. Um, and then I have a 15 meter wire here. And then I actually have another 10 meter if we really run into trouble. Um, we did pull out the back seats and added additional storage boxes there. Um, and then under the storage boxes, we had a 55 liter um, fuel tank put in uh, back when we first did the first remodel on the truck. So this is how we fill that. So 55 liters there and then another 78 in the uh, original. So we get about 1100 if we're not doing uh, driving too fast or too much off-road. And then uh, we have two uh, shocks here. There's the original shock and then we had a second one mounted with heavier uh, springs just because of the heavy weight that we have on the truck. Additional uh, storage built in here and then this is how we fill water in. This is our water access. We can add uh, 75 liters of water that we use for the sink, for washing up, and if we want, uh, we can shower with it as well for a cold water shower. 
um, and I'll show you a little bit more about how that part of the truck works right now. Okay, so uh, here at the back of the truck, this is how the shower part of it works. This is pretty cool. Uh, there's actually four points here, here, and so we have a shower container uh, curtain that comes down um, for privacy, and then right here is the access for the water line to do the showers. Um, and then, when this is closed, um, this is actually for bringing the tire down, and this is really, a, in my opinion, a great little leverage invention. So, what they did. Um, you undo that, you undo the tire nut, and you can lower this down like so, and so the tire actually is here. So when you have to remove the tire and put it back up, we're not trying to get it way up there, just to this point here. Um, very cool little uh, thing. And then over here, we had them build this uh, taller than normal box, um, so it's one meter high, and this is where chairs and tables and that sort of thing are stored. So we have chairs, two tables, stool, hammock, a bunch of other stuff. What's great about leaving it on the back of the truck is we don't have to open the truck in order to uh, in order to access it. So uh, that's there. Uh, rear view camera, bumper, the, the hitch, actually the hitch works really well when we are going off road and it kind of gives some additional protection to the back of the truck and now we'll go in and take you for a look inside the truck i'm gonna climb in here and then start the video again so hang on okay so the door is open and we have our friend here keeping an eye out this is mr cool he loves being here he loves being on camera and we're going to take you inside and give you a tour of the inside of the truck so i'm gonna change the view to a widescreen um just so you can see a little bit better here are the interior so that's cabinet system two drawers on the left are for my clothes and things aaron gets the two on the right center is for toilets toiletries miscellaneous another miscellaneous below that and the bottom holds the 75 liter tank of water um, underneath the seats we have um, additional storage. We have a toilet under the left one. The right is open one. And we use that for, um, uh, for storing laundry and additional blankets and things. Um, and then this is our water level. So we have more than three quarters of a tank of water still. This is Mr. Cool's outdoor bed. Um, his indoor one is in the hotel but it takes up about the same amount of space. Um, so there's not a lot of floor space as you can see. Um, I'm gonna show you this view here of the bed. So the bed is now up and then when we wanna use the bed, we just lower it down. And what we love about this system is the bed is made. So we don't have to put any slats in. We just kind of climb in and the bed is made. And then when we're not using it, we literally just pull it up like so. Um, then there's lights that we have here and here. And I want to show you a little bit about the uh, oh, more electric. So we have cigarette lighters, um, things here. I'm going to go back to normal view. So cigarette lighters. And then this is the switch, the control switch for our Wabasto heater. Um, so that heats the cabin. Uh, because the cabin is so small, um, it heats up super fast. Um, we have our screen back there on the, on the side that uh, Aaron is on Aaron's side. So when we're watching movies, we can set up a screen. We have a little projector. Um, that's pretty much it on this side. I want to show you the windows. So um, we have really big windows here, which is nice. I'm going to go back to the wide view, wide angle view. Um, so... When the windows are closed, then it's blacked out in here. So this is mesh here, this is mesh here, and this one I left up, they all have the same. Um, in between the cover and the mesh, there's actually uh, plastic. So it's tinted to help keep the sun out, and then also 
if we want some light but keep the cold out then we can close that up truthfully at night we usually leave it kind of like this so we get a little bit of airflow um, but all the windows work the same way um, and then coming down into our into the sink area here oops. so we have our sink and then our two burner stove again we're on the wide angle so uh, things look bigger than they might actually be um, and then here's our control panel uh, for in here so here we can see what our voltage is um, right now so there's really no sun and we're at 12.9 uh, we've got a water pump and then our light switch for all the lights um, we don't have this fridge freezer plugged in at the moment because it's empty we emptied everything out uh, camping earlier on but it's two sides 72 liters total um, so one side is the fridge and then it goes down underneath that as well this side is the freezer and then there's just various other um, cabinetry in here this is uh, a pantry that we use um, and then underneath that whoops, this thing is in the way and then this side is uh, pots pans uh, things are a little bit in disarray because um, last time we were camping we didn't do a great job putting things away but there's a lot of storage for everything uh, Mr. Poole is barking at other people again additional storage oh and then the table the last thing I want to show you in here is the table um, so by the way that's the draw for the air for the um, for the heater and then that is where the hot air blows out but then here this is a um, post area so we have a center post that goes down and then the table we store back here and um, we usually keep it out of the way but if we're having a big meal that with a lot of cutting then we'll use uh, that so that's pretty much the inside and um, I'm going to take you outside I'm going to pause it and take you outside okay so we're back outside okay so we're back outside here's our friend beautiful mascot uh, by the oh the ladder system here yes so this is pretty cool kind of goes up super fast and um, yeah, so that's how that part of it works. Now I'm going to show you how Mr. Cool goes into his area. Come on, buddy. So this is Mr. Cool's part of the house. And so we have this done. Uh, so we took out the seats. This is all for Mr. Cool stuff. Then I have additional tools. That's dog food for local dogs, so we don't get rid of all of our food. Um, but we had this box made, and this was kind of the key to it. I installed the shelf, and so what this is great for is you just get him on the shelf, and he goes in the rest of the way, and now he's in his little happy place, and that's there, and Mr. Cool is ready to go. So that's the finishing of the tour. I'm going to pause the video here one last time and show you what it takes to close it up, and then we'll call it a day. Okay, so I opened up, I opened up the door again. I just want to show you what it takes to close it up. I did already close all the zippered windows, um, so normally I do that, and then here's what it takes to close it. So I just bring it all in, make sure the material is in, and shut off the light. And then I come here, and I will just clip this like that. And that's it, and it's ready to go. And then we usually just finish by putting the chairs away, and um, that's our home. So thanks for watching.